What's up guys, Ryan from Addicted to Nature and today we're talking about how to tune your DIY flute. Now this can be a PVC flute or a bamboo flute, it doesn't matter, the concept and all the techniques are pretty much the same. And if you want to take a look at them right next to each other, here you go, the embouchure, the finger holes, they're all in the same location, the length is in the same location, they're both F major scales and in fact this flute is the exact same flute that I made almost three years ago, and I shot a video on that one. It's in the description below, so if you haven't seen it before, go check it out, it's really, really nice. And if you're here from that video, good for you. Let's get to tuning. All right, guys, so the easiest way to summarize it is like this. To make a note higher in pitch, you're going to widen the finger hole. To make a note lower in pitch, you're going to make the finger hole smaller. And that's actually all you need to know to tune a flute. You can, you can, you know, talk about a bunch of fancy stuff, but the most practical tip is this. You're going to want to change each of these pitches in small increments, and you're gonna go back and retune everything. You're gonna go back and retune it every single time because small increments stop you from making big mistakes. And then another thing is you don't want to tune everything perfectly the first time you want and leave a little bit of room for adjustment. So you're gonna make, the more passes you make, the, the easier it'll be in the long run because you're not gonna be making costly mistakes. So let's get into how to tune the flute. So the first thing that we have to do is to warm up the flute. And what that means, we need to get it to a temperature of where it's going to be if you've been playing it for a while because the temperature of the flute changes the way this flute vibrates, the way it makes sound. And the fastest way to warm up a flute is to cover all of these holes here. And you're gonna put your mouth on the embouchure and you're just gonna blow into the flute as if you're trying to fog up a window, okay? Because if you don't get it to a tuning temperature, all of your notes are gonna be different when the, when the flute cools down to when you're playing it for about five minutes or so. Fastest way is to sort of do the hawing sound that you're trying to fog up a window or so. Here we go. I'm gonna cover, uh, here I'm gonna scoot a little bit closer, and you're gonna cover this entire, you're gonna cover this entire hole with your mouth. It's gonna look a little bit disgusting, but that's the fastest way to do it. And you haw into it, and you're gonna feel the air come out of this side. Here we go. And if you feel like this flute is getting a little bit warmer, then you're doing the right thing. You're gonna keep doing that for about 30 to 40 to a minute or so, and then we're gonna warm up this flute. The first thing I wanna talk about is the F major scale. First, right now we have F, and then we have G, and then A, B flat, C, D, and E. And what that means is this is the, F is the lowest note. It's what happens when you cover all of these pieces of um, all of these holes and this is what it sounds like and then if you have your tuner here with you you can turn it on where is it there it is and then you're going to see this note here the F here we go the F is going to match that first one when I play it watch this zoom on a little bit see that F and then we're gonna go to G And see how it's matching the F, G, and A. So the first thing you're gonna check is that every single hole here, let's zoom out a little bit. So this should be F, G, A, B flat, C, D, and E. So we're gonna check that first. Here we go. F is good. G is good. And A. Okay, so here we go. B flat and A. I am playing a B flat, but it's showing up as A, right? Here we go again. But it's very, very sharp. And the way this works is if it goes towards the right, that means that your flute is higher than it needs to be. And if it's going towards the left, it's not as high. So it's lower than it needs to be for A.
So I'm gonna make a note on that. I know my B flat is a problem. And then C, the next one here. C's good. B's good. E's good. And that's F. So we're back to F. Now, don't have to worry about left or right where the needle lies as long as that note or that letter is correct for now. Okay? I'm going to go back to white because it's a little bit easier to see. So how do I tune this B flat out? Because it's not as high as it needs to be, this hole is responsible for the F note. If you cover it, it's F, right? And then if you let go of it, it's G. So this hole determines whether it becomes an F or a G. We're always going to think about the higher note here. So technically, and I know I said this hole con controls the F, but technically I'm going to here easier to think about it as controlling the G note. And then A would be this note here. B flat is this note here, or this hole here. So this hole that I'm touching right now with my thumb controls that B flat and it needs to be wider because it's flatter. The wider something is, if you widen, W-I-D-E-N, something, it becomes higher. If you make a, make a hole smaller, it becomes lower. L-O-W-E-R. That's an easy way for you to tell. How do I widen the hole? Obviously, that's just with a file. You're just going to go in and you're going to do that. How do I make this hole smaller? The easiest way is to try to avoid this problem. But you can use super glue. I recommend gel super glue to make a hole smaller. You're going to have to wait a couple hours for it to dry. And then you're going to go in. And if it's too small, you can file out the super glue. So obviously it's much easier to widen something than to wait for something to dry, wait for glue to dry. So the easiest way is to avoid all of that problems. Here we go. And that's the B flat, so we're gonna start widening this hole here. You can use a file, and here's a trick. Widening this hole, you're gonna go around, you're gonna try to make it as circular as you can just for um, making it look a little bit prettier. I'm going to try to do this. And notice how I'm mainly working on this one side, but I'm going to move to this next side in a second. Here we go. So what happens if the hole's too wide and your fingers can't cover it? You can always slant your filing down like this so that the inside is wide but the outside isn't as wide. That'll help if your note is too flat, too low like this because we're trying to widen it to get it back up to as high as it needs to be. Here we go. When you are tuning, you want to file a little bit and then check. File a little bit and check. Because if you don't and you just keep filing, you might overshoot. Then we're going to have to do the super glue tr trick. There you go. I'm going to go again because we need to warm up my flute again. I've been filing and I haven't been using it. Here we go. See how I'm showing B flat as after I warmed up that flute a little bit? That is the reason why, because usually when it's higher temperature, it's going to be a little bit sharper than it was when it was cold. Here we go, let's try one more time. And you're gonna realize the longer you play it, the sharper it's going to get, and that's normal. So we're almost there. It's sort of alternating between B flat and A. So we're gonna keep widening this hole. And since I touched this one hole, that means that everything downstream of this hole is going to also change. So I'm going to, once I 
get this hole perfect, I'm going to have to redo the other one. So this can obviously take a very, very long time, but don't worry, I'm not gonna film that whole process. I'm just gonna tell you about how this will work. When you're tuning something, you wanna make sure that you're only tuning a couple of segments on this here. We call them cents, that's the unit that we measure uh, tuning things in. But you're gonna to want to do like 10 to 20, and every single segment of this is one. So over here we have negative 50, and then positive 50. So that's 100 units, 100 cents in the middle, with zero being in the middle. All right, here we go. Try to do B flat. And don't worry, the longer I play it, the warmer the flute gets, and the better it'll sound. here it's really about where it technically will be if I warm up this flute and I play it for a while. I'm going to keep widening this hole and I'll be back when I get this up to the B flat. <laughs> 